all right so to begin with uh this might be very helpful i search up game mode game mode settings i'll make it a little bit bigger so you can turn this on it will help you with your fps i have it off because i ran into a little problem with it when i was trying to play tarkov i was messing around with the settings but you can leave it on i uh, also go to graphics settings on the right side uh browse and wherever your game is installed find it you can add the regular siege uh and also the vulcan just add both you know make it easier uh, whichever one you run i'd recommend vulcan you get a lot more frames on it and let's actually get to the main settings all right so in the video today i'm basically just covering my settings for operation dread factor rainbow six siege um so let's get into it so general uh you can't change this matchmaking preference this is really just for uh terrorist hunt uh ping definitely this on this is how you get the yellow pings on your screen this will here uh the display performance it just shows your frames ping um on the bottom left of the screen and uh this is all just preference right here uh this can also be preference to actually be done off um this one i would recommend either semi-automatic or manual basically when the round is uh when the drone phase is over like it takes you off a cam but let's say someone one of your teammates wants you like to hold a cam um it won't take you off the cam right away Seven five. Some people are sometimes really loud in game chat. Um, you don't unfuck. It's basically, basically, if you alt tab out the game, it's going to um, mute the game in the background so you don't hear it. Um, push to talk. Uh, not sure really what this does. Threshold. The higher it is, the lower, um, like the microphone will pick you up basically. Display. I just have my monitor. And the twenty uh, ten eighty. Full screen 240 hertz is my uh monitor and make sure it's on um well i'll show it later in the nvidia settings um aspect ratio i run 1610 this is our preference too a lot of people use um some people use 5 4 i've seen 4 3 and also 3 2 i just run 1610 by default i believe it's 69 by default vsync off unless like your pc isn't that good uh fps limit is all up to the person really um if your pc like can handle it i'll just leave it on um off uh wire letterbox it just like shows like the vertical um there's like two boxes on the top of the screen i'll show it later on field of view i run 90 some people run like 84 87 our preference here hud display is just a change like the size of the um menu of the main menu and also the end game menu like we'll go here um what is this one? No changes to that, really. 
we just off for our friends. Brightness, I run 71. So this is where it kind of really does matter. Um, NVIDIA reflex low latency, leave it on. Um, plus boost if you have a NVIDIA GPU. This one, it just doesn't matter. It just shows on top of your screen. Um, honestly, the texture quality in Siege, is it really only like a five frame difference? Yeah, like a five frame difference, I'm pretty sure. Um, if you run like ultra or high, I just have it high texture filtering uh you can leave it low now honestly if your pc can't handle it or if you just want as many frames literally have everything off um besides shadow quality so you can see like um shadows in game so like sometimes you'll be able to see a shadow before you see a person when they swing it's like an easy pre-fire i'll probably show a clip if i have one this uh, i'm gonna tap off not sure why that's on a lot like i said most of these are just gonna want off if you want the most frames now i run anti-aliasing off but if you want your game to look a little bit more clearer i run taa and then run um 100 100 on both of these and your game will look a little bit more um it'll, it'll look a little bit more like easier um to see things um i'll probably put a clip up to show you guys Controls. I run 400 DPI. Supposedly, there's a bug with raw input. I'm not sure if it's fixed yet, um, but I just leave it off. That's what it's been. Um, 400 DPI, 1212, 12, um, 700, uh, 70, 84, 85. I really don't use anything above a 1.5. Sometimes I use it two times, but not really. Anything after this, I don't really use at all. Um, I'll scroll all up to you want to switch weapons. Gadget deployment. I will say this is helpful, and I would um, a helpful tip. I would leave it on an advanced where you have to hold it. So let's say you're placing a thermite charge, and someone runs out, you're able to cancel the animation um, by letting go of your um, your mouse button. That's what you have it as, and you're able like, to you know keep your gun up. Um, drone deployment. I will also leave this on advanced. So like when you throw your drone, you don't automatically get onto the drone. It's like sometimes an easy way to bait a player aim uh this is just um personal preference all up to the person i run hold uh lean is toggle oh, i have a toggle it's a preference some people run hold you know whatever works for you works for you you know what works for me might not work for you which is why i tell you sometimes it's just perfect you have to mess around with it a crouch i have toggle prone toggle um now my actual controls uh this really is my push this talk is c most of this like i said just preference here i would say um my crouch and like to go upside down on windows is uh, my mouse button my g pro and my melee is also one of my mouse buttons another small little tip that might help one of you guys um is when you swap weapons where is it i may have already passed it i'll swap weapon so instead of like pressing one to always go to the primary and two to go to your secondary i just have it to where it's one and it always swaps um no matter what so instead of like you know sometimes you might mess up and not press two when you want to swap to a pistol that's just me it might be a little help with one of you guys one of you guys uh vibrations i would if you're on a controller you just have it off and i honestly have not played a controller in like three years so i have no idea what half of these do but for controller player i'm sure there's definitely a whole bunch of other tutorials and setups on how to um make these uh, benefit you um yeah I, I can't help on that part um privacy nickname it all that you want to do with this it really doesn't matter uh usually it's more helpful to streamers if anything um accessibility optic color really doesn't matter it just changes the color of your scope opacity i probably will leave it anywhere between 70 and 100 i just have it 100 in white for now screen shake intensity this is basically if someone throws like a nitro cell or an explosion happens next to you your screen will not shake um they added it about like three seasons ago it makes the game um a little like quality um quality update um this like i said preference here off off chat scale 100 uh, i have this transparency so you, you can see the game 
uh, behind the chat. Okay, so now I'm going to show my NVIDIA control panel. So you want to go over to the bottom right um, and click NVIDIA settings or you can also right click and here. Right there, we have a NVIDIA GPU. So, um, yeah, click on it. Um, all right, so here, if, you're, if you want more frames, uh, you can just come here and then go down to performance, just drag it over and then click apply. Um, but I run, I just have bad quality. Now this, this is what I run. It's what helps me um, get more frames like on games like Tarkov, because Siege is a fairly easy game to run. Um, it's also mainly CPU based. Um, while I do have a 3090, uh, the game really is mainly CPU based. Um, but you can just copy these if you like. Um, oh, and also for the display to get to see your frames, right? Um, because if you go here, native, um, you can't see the 240 hertz, right? If you go here, you oh, sometimes you're, you're able to see it. Um, but the safest way, because some people won't have this, um, you just go here to where it says PC, fresh rate, uh, 240, 140, whatever you have, whatever you have, sometimes it's 160, make sure you have apply, and um. It'll apply. Hopefully my screen doesn't turn black. Um, all right, now we're good, we're good, we're good. So yeah, that's what I run. Uh, and also to have a little bit more color, like to your um, to your screen, your digital vibrance can help um, give you a, a little bit more color to your um, panel. I think by default it's 50. I'd say leave it around like 80 or 70. I just run 100 just because I like color. <laughs> uh, so yeah, most of these, um, not sure what most of these do, but you don't have to touch any of these. And uh, G-Sync, I wouldn't have on, really. Um, uh, let me see if anything with this. Nope. I think this is all good now. Now, another thing, go here, search up, um, you can search up power. Um, not power. Not fully typed in, but here. Edit power plan go here power um options you can have it on ultimate performance high performance and they should give you a little bit more boost um i just run on balance just to have it there i don't really need it and yeah that's basically it so thank you guys for watching